I'm going to show you how to use the insert shapes command in Microsoft Word to draw graphs and images in your homework file. Okay. So here I've opened up uh, Unit 1 Homework, which you will access in the Unit 1 content folder in Blackboard. And you'll scroll down here and you'll find that there's a question that asks you to draw a supply and demand graph. Okay, how do you do that? Well, first off, make you some space here. And then what you're going to want to do is go to the top menu bar, select insert, select shapes, select line. And you'll get this little crosshairs tool. And you'll click once and hold, draw a straight line. This will be the vertical axis. And then you're done. Now, to draw your horizontal axis, there's two things you could do. You could do insert shapes line again. Or if you want to have the exact same length of a line, what I would do, let me escape out of that. I'll select this. Oops. And I'll say copy. And then I'll just click uh, right click again somewhere and say paste. All I need to do is click on one of the endpoints and drag and I can change the orientation like that. I can move it up there. Bada boom, I've got my axes. Let me actually extend this out a little bit. Okay, I've got my axes. Similar procedure is going to be used to draw the supply and demand curves. Now I want to make this a little interesting and clear, so I'll go ahead and right click it after I draw it and select format auto shape. And let's change the color. Let's make this curve red. Okay. And let's go ahead and insert shapes line and do another curve like this. And let's right click, format that shape, and let's make that one, let's say, blue. And you know what? Maybe I want to make this a little bigger so you can see it easier. Let's increase the weight of the line to 1.5. Now, as for labeling, what you want to do is go back up to insert and select text box. Select simple text box. Okay, and what I'm going to do is type in a label, supply curve, click off the box. Now I'm going to make, I want to shrink that way down. Actually, before I do that, let's select the, the text. Let's go back to the home bar and let's make the text a lot smaller. Let's, uh, let's say eight, it'll do. Okay, let's make the box a lot smaller. And then we can drag that down, and put that in position like that. Now, this box is a little clunky here, so let's go ahead and select this. Format the text box. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of the line. Okay, now you'll notice the, um, the outline of this text box is obscuring the lines in the graph I just drew. Well, we can fix that easily as well. Let's just right-click it, hit Format, and we'll go to the Layout. Uh, menu here and we can put that behind the text and that'll push that back to the back and then we can move that like so. Okay, we can put that in the right spot. Now we also need to label the demand curve. Uh, we could go through the whole rigmarole of insert text box again. Or how about this? Let's select that box that we already did. Let's press control C. Let's click off it and press control V. Now just put the cursor in there and retype, relabel that one to say demand. It'll have all the same formatting. Then all we need to do is select it and drag it down here. And we've got our demand curve labeled. Okay. And away you go and you can uh, label everything in here. Producer surplus. Let's, let's take a whack at that. How would we label a surplus triangle? Well, let's go back to shapes and let's select a right triangle. And let's draw a right triangle just like that, put it right on there from the demand curve down to the equilibrium price level. Uh, I want to I want to shade that in, so let's right click it and do the format again. And now let's go back to colors and lines and let's do a fill, let's fill that in. And I want to use kind of a lighter shade, so I'm gonna pick this kind of lighter uh, red right here. And let's say I don't want a line, I don't want a border around it, I just want to fill, hit okay. Okay, and so then you can see I've got this triangle. And uh, maybe I want to label that as that producer consumer surplus. That's consumer surplus. Now let me go ahead and right click it and hit add text. Okay, so then you just go ahead and type in what you want to type there. Consumer 
surplus, but uh-oh, where did it go? Well, there's not enough room in the shape the way it's formatted right now, so we will have to tweak the formatting a little bit. Let me put my cursor in here. First off, let me change the margin up here on the on the um, ruler. Change the indent. Maybe like that. And then I will double click to highlight all the text. Let's make the size a little smaller maybe. Put that font size down to four. Okay, there we go. Now I can see it all. Let's put this font size down to four as well. And now I can see it all. Let me move the margins back a little bit. Okay, so I've played around with a lot of the settings here. I moved the margins. I um, I changed some formatting. I changed the ordering. Changed the formatting here on the um, margins of the text box. Might have to change them around in the alignment. But you can mess with that, and you can get the um, the labeling of your shape actually inside of the shape. Okay, let me do one more thing here. I'm going to put the my demand curve, I'm going to bring it to front so it covers up, and then there we go. We got a pretty decent looking graph. I mean, of course, I'd have to add in um, labels for the equilibrium price, producer surplus here, equilibrium quantity, the price quantity axis. Make sure you do all cover all the things I ask for. Um, but that's a little little starter for you on how to do that within Microsoft Word. Okay, play around with it, make it as pretty as you want. I, I do appreciate nice graph work. Um, but you can do pretty much anything you need to for this course with the insert shapes. Okay, you can do all of these shapes, arrows, lines. Can okay? you can format them, color them, um, change the alignment, change the grouping, so on and so forth. And you too can be a Microsoft Word artist.